morning. Been very busy around here, mostly yesterday. Not, not really today. <laughs> But I do have a few things to take care of. If you can tell behind me, oh my gosh, today, today's a big day. Today, a hope, well, hopefully today is the big day. Fingers crossed, okay? We're supposed to have our couches arrive <laughs> today. I can't say it without laughing. I just can't believe it. I shared on Instagram that Alex and I went out and picked out new couches again. Because if you know, we initially, oh gosh, the story is so long. Let me just tell you when the couches come, that story. But if you can also see behind me, something else is missing. My vintage armoire. It, my heart breaks a little bit, but I have to make room for like the new baby. You know what I mean? The addition is not done, even though whew, deep breaths, we were told it would be done before the baby arrived. I can't trust anyone. <laughs> they literally haven't even started. They, oh my gosh, that's a whole other. Oh, permits should be done between four to six weeks. It's been over four months, almost five months. Still nothing, not even close. So my expectation in my head, I'm like, okay, this baby will have a room maybe when they're one, maybe. Set that bar real low, okay? But for now, this will be the baby spot. I had a lot of plans in my head. I have a lot of plans. Okay, let, ugh, I'm getting off track. That's nothing new. Before I ramble on some more because there are a lot of things that I need to get done today, I will mention that today's video is sponsored by Green Chef. Huge thanks to them for sponsoring me and supporting my channel. Massive thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content, so I'll share more about them in just a moment. Let me grab my list over here. Oh, oh, what came in the mail today? Oh, what came in the mail? You'll never guess it's the coolest thing. It's so cool. Uh, they're matte. Okay, let me show you, let me show you why. Don't mind this. It's like, we live here sometimes. So, in my midst of like wanting to redo the living room, I bought frames and art, well, art, well, pictures. I finally printed out our, some of our family photos of each of our children. And then oversight, I'm like, what the heck am I gonna do? I bought an extra frame. <laughs> Or, no, wait, did I? I don't think I did. I don't think I bought an extra frame because they only had four. So in my head, I have to keep reminding myself, buy another frame that exact style. So when this baby comes, they have a spot on the wall. But then like, how do you fit five on a wall? <sighs> Ask me in two years when I finally print out a picture of the baby, okay? <laughs> it's just like one thing at a time. I, I feel so overwhelmed. I also, for the living room, because I plan on doing a whole living room redo, remodel, if you will. I bought some stuff off of Amazon. I initially, oh, that's a whole story too. I went to Home Depot and Lowe's, I bought paint. I, well, I didn't buy anything from Home Depot or Lowe's because they didn't have anything I needed. So then, of course, naturally, I went to Amazon. By the way, yesterday, I cleaned Alex's closet. You should have seen it before. <laughs> it was a disaster. I think I'm nesting all around. In my head, I'm like, okay, it's almost back to school. I have to get the kids' rooms ready and their clothes and supplies and all that stuff. But, oh my gosh, lunch supplies. I need to order like new lunch containers for them because the ones that we've been using are a couple years old slash few years old. So some of them just don't snap together, right? So anyway, that's the whole thing. But the back to the Lowe's and Home Depot, they had nothing I needed. Well, I shouldn't say nothing I needed. They had like spray paint, but they didn't have the things that I actually needed to redo. I guess I'll show you out here. I plan to, it was always my intention to refinish this, I guess, or paint this. It's a beautiful piece. It is a chest on one side where we store blankets and stuff. I know, it's so organized. And then on this side, there's a bunch of drawers. And these are like so expensive. They're so expensive. But I found it on Marketplace. You'll never guess. You'll never guess. I mean, I told you when I bought it. Obviously, it's in need of some TLC. I love them. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, oh, $30. That's the price at $30. I spent $30 a week on grapes. $30 for a piece of nice furniture. Oh, so I can't wait. Hopefully it comes out nice. I don't, I don't know. Stay tuned because in my living room remodel, I have hopes to get rid of this. 
I actually bought, if you follow me on Instagram, you know this. I bought a TV console. But there's a story behind that too. So this is the one that I bought. <laughs> we have it flipped around because the kids, mostly Meredith keeps like putting stuff in it and trying to climb inside. So we're just, you know, baby proofing if you will. <laughs> so we bought that. It was on clearance. I think I shared it in my most recent like vlog. I don't know, you guys, I don't know when I share it. I know I told you guys about it. I saw it in a store and then I went back to Home Goods like a week later to, for something and I saw it and it was on clearance and I said, <laughs> it was over $125 off. So I was like, okay, well, that is that a sign? And then the next day I went to Costco Guess what they had at Costco? The console that I've been waiting for and wanting this whole time. So now I'm in a limbo, like which one should I, I don't know. So eventually the living room will get my attention. By the way, the couches were moved because I needed to like clean under them, you know? <laughs> but I do want to get, oh, what happened? I do want to grab a before shot of the couches just to, you know, say farewell. Farewell, goodbye, Alfie to saying farewell. I should really know that song, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know, a part of me is wondering if I'm going to hate the new couches as much as I hated the first couches that we got that I thought, nothing can be worse than these crusty brown couches. I was wrong. The sectional was worse. But at the end of the day, like they're just couches and I don't know, man, I don't know. I also need to clean out like my sliding glass doors today. Laundry, oh, you guys, oh, let me show you. This is the current state of my laundry room. Yes, I folded it all, but I've yet to put, I put a load away, maybe two loads away yesterday and then I just kept folding as they came out. And now I'm like pooped, you know, don't feel like doing the rest. Is there a load in here? No, my gosh, that's a first, but there, I need to do a wash. But at least, you know, it's not a mountain of laundry. I do feel like, since I've been feeling normal, for, it's funny because for most people, the third trimester is like their most miserable. But for me, because the rest of my pregnancy is so miserable, the third trimester, I'm finally like, wow, I can function. <laughs> and I'm so thankful for that. So I finally feel like I'm like getting on top of some things that I've been meaning to do. Uh, so let's get some more stuff done today. Wentworth's room, I need to declutter his cl the clothes in his closet and like label his dresser so he knows where to put his clothes when he puts them away. And also, uh, maybe I'll share some food with you. I don't really, I don't, I don't know about food. Maybe dinner. Speaking of dinner, so I recently ordered some meals from Green Chef, and if you don't know, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company. They offer clean, delicious meals with step-by-step -step recipes and absolutely amazing ingredients that will save you time. They have options for every lifestyle, keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean, gluten-free, and fast and fit. That's a lot of options. When I was looking on their website, I noticed that they have a large variety of meals to choose from, and each week you can choose from 24 meals, and you can mix and match uh, meal preferences, like gluten-free, vegan, whatever. And I loved making my Green Chef meal because it introduced me to the world's best and easiest kale salad. The ingredients that were in my kit were great quality premium ingredients with sustainably sourced produce. Everything was super fresh. The food was restaurant quality. That's the best part, right? Because the meals are curated by expert chefs. Avelina literally still talks about the chicken that I made that night. She asks me to cre recreate it over and over again and nothing seems to taste the same. <laughs> Try as I may. Green Chef makes cooking easy because it saves time it takes the stress out of it. You don't have to go to the grocery store. You don't have to meal plan. And bonus, they do most of the meal prep because the ingredients that you get are pre-portioned and pre-measured and pre-delicious. 
One of the meals that I made, I even put into containers so we can have for future lunches. And I feel like this would be great for back to school. Dinners would be so easy and convenient and ready and waiting for you. So you don't have to think about it because we all know back to school can be a pretty stressful and chaotic time. So I really encourage you to check out Green Chef. I have a special deal for you to get $135 off across five boxes and you can get free shipping on your first box. So my code is thewads135. I'll have it linked down below. You can check out greenchef.com for more details and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. So let's get going. The kids are playing chalk and uh, having a grand old time. Alex is also working on something out here so I guess I'll share that with you. Also, I kind of feel like I have so many things to do that I don't know where to start and also I'm like waiting for the couches to come. I feel like I can't do anything until they arrive. Um, so I should probably grab my phone and start making lists because um, getting everything out seems to really help me a lot and I'll do that and I'll do that in a second. Alex is working on a little weekend project. We're getting these shelves. We got these from Costco. I shared my recent Costco shop with me. They don't sell them in the stores, but they sell them online and you can store 12 bins where the other, and they're cheaper than the other racks where you have to store the bins the other way and they just don't fit as many. Um, but we have so many that we ordered two racks. <laughs> You're driving? Okay, finally made some lists. And the thing is, I wasn't going to start decorating like the girls' room before the addition. But it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. So I figured, well, before back to school, wouldn't it be nice if they like had a room and stuff? Well, I started ordering stuff for their room, artwork, rugs, a bed. They have a mattress, but like not a bed. Avelina had a bed, but it like broke four times. Anyway, I ordered the wrong size. Ugh, so like now I'm trying to deal with that and trying to get a replacement and anyway. And then I'm thinking artwork, like even in Wentworth's room, I was putting him to bed last night thinking, oh gosh, like he has two desks, why? And then everything else is just meh, you know? Plus he has the best view in the house, like from a bedroom. And then we have these shutters on here that are just so bulky and I don't know, I don't dig them. So then I always open them, but then, I don't know, they don't look great. Anyway, this is what I have to tackle today, or this is on my list of things to do. I don't know, in my head I'm like, should we just go to Hobby Lobby and buy some <laughs> artwork? Like this is in here backwards. I do have to declutter. These are his school shirts that I also need to go through because some of them are worn and they're like from when Avelina was in pre-K three, you know? Um, also his shirts, like he's grown out of a lot of them. Man, do you know how big he is? I should get, first of all, he needs a haircut. <laughs> but I like don't wanna cut it because it looks so cute because it's like, sun bleached blonde. Uh, but he was standing next to Eleanor yesterday. I was like, wow, you guys are almost the same height. It is insane. They're three year difference and they're like two inches. Oh, boys are always so big. Okay. Oh, am I tackling his dresser? I guess I should do it all today, huh? His whole closet. I don't know what's up here. I think this is baby stuff. Yeah, baby blankets. That's great. What's in here? Oh, nothing. Empty bin, diaper bag. I think that's his laundry basket. Why is his laundry basket up here? Oh, because it has his Easter basket. Why? Okay, well, we have our work cut out for us today. And maybe I'll be able to find, looks like there's a lot of random stuff in here. I feel like he might have some good artwork that I could just hang on the wall. Well, good is subjective. <laughs> Let's just focus on the clothes. Okay. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm 
think about him all the time. I think about him all the time. I think about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs, so I can't get enough. I think about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. by Loving Caliber, and I'm your host, Ryan Seacrest. Thanks for being here with me, America's Top 40. Here we go with another slow jam. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) Oh, I should put out my Top 40 hits. Uh, Only Human, after all, would definitely make the cut. Anyway, my Top 40 royalty-free jams, that is. (laughs) Oh, (gasps) Oh my gosh, that's a fantastic idea. If only I put music and more of my videos. Anyway, I feel so good after cleaning out his drawers. And really, I didn't declutter his shorts and pants. I need his input because he knows which pants and shorts that are most comfortable on him. But his shirts, I can pretty well judge like, oh, he wears these. He doesn't fit into these, et cetera, et cetera. But for the pants and shorts, I didn't get rid of any of them, I don't think. Um, so he's going to have to help me with that one day at this moment in time. I don't know what he was doing, but wasn't around. So it did feel good to go through his dresser though and like categorize everything. I still in my head, I wanted to, I found some gum by the way, it was gross and stale, probably a year old. (laughs) It was fine. But in my head, I wanted to get out my Cricut and make some labels for his drawers But I didn't do that. Maybe one day. Maybe tomorrow. How about that? Tomorrow. Is that a good day? Does that work for you? (laughs) What are you doing tomorrow? Can you come over and help me make labels for my son's dresser? I actually love that we moved the dresser in his closet. It frees up so much space in his room. But anyway, so I'm, I'm very happy with what we created in his closet. A lot more space 
it's a lot less of a, a mind twist when you walk in there. So it feels good. Okay, just in time for me to kind of finish. I mean, everything looks nice. I have yet to clean the floors, but I got everything decluttered and semi-organized. I mean, what? This was a complete disaster before. Oh my gosh. Like most of that stuff was books that I put elsewhere and garbage and just crap. And this basket is completely empty, so room for growth. But this is what we're working with. This is our donate pile. And then I have some books that will go in the donate pile. And then randomness, randomness. But I've gotten word that the furniture people are here. <laughs> Literally swept this morning and there are crumbs all over. Five seconds later, that's what happens. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. The end of an era. Same with mm. teacher, right? Yeah, same with well, see you. So Bye. Yeah, you want to try to uh, flip it off. All right, progress. Please. Here they are. In the flesh, brand new. Doesn't look too much different than what we had before. Feels different, for sure. Doesn't have 15 years worth of dirt on it. Um, you know, it'll come together. <laughs> Okay, I don't know where I was. I literally get interrupted <laughs> every 15 to 20 seconds. So, uh, are these like beachy keen couches of my dreams? No, but like we have kids and we have to be practical. Alex really wanted recliners that was on, you know, I don't really care. So, of course we had to make sure that they're recliners. And uh, yeah, all right, there they are. Okay, now that his closet is basically good enough, right? And cleared off and feeling fresh. I did find some artwork of his that I feel like I could put on the wall and it would look decent. Someone got a hold of that, so nice. Mostly these two pieces. I mean, I don't really know. I'm just trying to utilize what I have. I'm just gonna use some command strips to make his own little art gallery over here. That's what these paintings are from initially when he was in, I think, pre-K three. Oh gosh, is this not sticking? I mean, it's on there. <laughs> so we've had these for a while and my intention was always to make like his little, his own little art gallery wall, but you know, some things just take me a little bit more time to get around to. I'm way overthinking this. All right, good enough. I'm sure he's got more nice artwork floating around the house. This one is crooked, so that's great. Anyway, we've made it to Eleanor's closet and I plan on redoing her room. So we'll deal with this when we redo her whole room. The focus of today is to go through her massive amounts of clothing. Declutter, so she has room for school clothes and uh, just room, you know? Eleanor took on this project like a champ. She decluttered so many of her clothes and I'm looking at her hair and wondering if people, because sometimes people ask me, oh my gosh, did she get her hair highlighted? And I just, I'm like, she's eight years old. No, <laughs> like we've never, have we never met? I don't even get my hair done. Why would I let, anyway, um, her hair is what my hair used to look like when I was young, so she's probably gonna end up with uh, you know brown hair when she's older it's completely off topic but i'm looking at us decluttering her closet thinking gosh she's got those natural highlights and when i was a kid i remember people saying that about my hair wow you, you people pay a lot of money for that and so now i look at her hair and think the same thing like wow you know those natural highlights she loves her hair uh, both of my kids need haircuts, so before they actually go back to school, I need to make some appointments. So that's on my to-do list as well. So I guess we'll get there when we get there. But um, Eleanor did such a great job. Sometimes she just needs the motivation of someone next to her, and that's really all I was doing. I was sorting her hangers. She had a lot of hodgepodge hangers in there, and we will likely get rid of probably the black. We'll just keep the white big ones because that's really what she needed but she did most of it on her own I actually walked out when she did her shorts and skirts and she got rid of a lot of stuff and uh yeah 
I mean, when it was all done, she knew exactly what she liked. She knew what she didn't like. And when it was finished, she was so happy with the result. Like, oh my gosh, there's space in my closet. So I can't wait to make over her room and like organize her whole closet and her whole room. I have this vision. Her rug came in today, so it's exciting times. I ordered the wrong size bed frame, so... Oh my gosh, I still haven't reordered. Okay, so many things on my to-do list. So little time, it feels like. (laughs) But we're getting there step by step, day by day. Well, as you can tell, we have a massive pile of clothes to donate. And Eleanor did a great job making progress, making decisions. Progress. Lots of space for new clothes. (laughs) Eleanor's gonna work on going through her shorts and skirts. Um, And I think I'm going to go through our sock bin over here because there's no way, there's no way we go through. Oh, let's see. Okay, sorry, there's something going on with my camera. I'll be surprised if I find like five pairs of matching socks in here. The kids, when they need socks, this is the bin they go to and they sift through it. It's just not working out for us. (laughs) So um, I'm finally gonna go through it. I might have the kids do it. I'm undecided. The kids are like occupied right now, so sometimes it's just worth it to like, you know, let them be. It is my plan in the future because they do need socks for back to school. I'm either going to buy all one color, but like it's hard because they're different sizes, you know? So like maybe all one color for Wentworth. Oh my god, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, okay? (laughs) I saw you from across the room When our eyes met, I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name simple together a taco bar except for the people in my house like chimichangas and that makes things I don't know I feel like so much more complicated if you just make a taco anyway I found this I'm making some rice in the instant pot I've got to cook the meat but I have jalapenos beans chips of course that's the catalyst for the meal because really all I want to do is eat some of this white queso (laughs) dip and chips Uh, lettuce cilantro cheese and then of course some salsa real I mean really I just want like chips and salsa and queso and so I decided taco night (laughs) taco night is the way around that I also grabbed this a while ago at the grocery store saving it for our next taco night it's you're supposed to refrigerate after you open it apparently someone opened it and didn't refrigerate it real upset about that. Otherwise, I'm gonna get all of this chopped and in little bowls and such. And that's gonna be dinner. Oh my gosh, when I tell you this dinner was a hit, so happy about it. Well, now I'm rethinking, was it a hit or did I just enjoy it the most? (laughs) But listen, it was no green chef. It wasn't restaurant quality. I just threw a bunch of ingredients on the table. And sometimes that's just the easiest thing, right? Like make your own kind of thing. Tacos. We did pizzas the other night. And I I quite enjoy it. It's a good um, smorgasbord of food. And you can eat what you like and leave what you don't. And I like that. So I'm just chopping up what needs to be chopped up. 
And uh, it's pretty simple. I will say Jack's Organic Salsa. Oh my gosh, did my taste buds change? Because I hate it. Ugh. I know. It pains me to say it out loud, but I do. <laughs> Here it is. I think we have all of the accoutrements needed. Um, I did buy sour cream, but I don't know if it's good. So Alex is testing it out. It's currently on the other counter. I don't know. But I think that's all we're missing. I don't like sour cream anyway. So no skin off my back or whatever the expression is. I have hard shell, soft shell, turtles, rice, taco meat, jalapeno, cilantro, lettuce. This needs to be heated up. This kind of tastes like beer. I don't know. I don't, I think something's happening with that, but I did taste it after this, so I'm gonna try it again. I'm actually gonna have Alex try it, cause I don't know. Um, chips, <laughs> beans, peppers, onions, and whatever that is. Mmm, look at that smorgasbord of deliciousness. So after dinner, this is after dinner, if you can see, the GFG is still on the counter, and it stayed there for over a day. I actually just cleaned it tonight, and I don't know when I filmed this. Yesterday, the day before, day before that. Don't ask questions. <laughs> anyway, that's like, I, don't, I just don't like cleaning it. I love the GFG, the George Foreman grill. Love using it. Don't love cleaning it, even though it's just, it's just a couple wipes. It's not a big deal. I don't know why. It's just so clunky and junky. It's not junky at all. Anyway. The kids after dinner clear the table and they typically help me around in the kitchen. They put the clean dishes away. There's usually clean dishes somewhere. Um, so they do help me tidy up, but um, I've been doing the dishes and it's just nice to have a clean kitchen, you know, at nighttime. I just love the feeling of like dim lights and maybe just like a couple of the counter lights on, but not the whole overhead space. Do you, you know what I mean? Maybe light a candle, set the mood, and then you can sit and relax knowing that they're, that the kitchen is clean. It's just, it's a whole vibe. And I hope you know what I'm talking about. That, cause that's, it's, that's what motivates me to clean my kitchen after dinner. Because honestly, that's the last thing I want to do. Like, listen, I just ate. I just want to relax. But I do it because I know that it feels good to have a tidy kitchen. Also, waking up to a clean kitchen, supreme. Highly recommend. <laughs> it just always feels nice to walk into a clean kitchen, which doesn't always happen because, you know, sometimes the kids do stuff after I go to bed because, you know, sleepovers and stuff. But anyway, feels good. Well, well, well. Our bellies are full, but there is always room for dessert. I have been wanting dessert for a long time, okay? The kids made sugar cookies yesterday. I literally had one. Where are the rest? I don't know. So today, I'm going, I asked the kids what they wanted. They said strawberry shortcake. I don't know how many strawberries are left, but I found some Cool Whip in the freezer, and I found a box of yellow cake. That's good enough for me. So I'm gonna whip this up real quick. Just, oh my gosh, bunt cakes, mini bunt cakes. Yeah, I don't have a mini bunt cake thing, but I can, I do have a nine by 13 dish. Our power went out earlier because of uh, the thunderstorm. I don't know if I even showed you the thunderstorm. It was thunderstorming, <laughs> it's no big deal. It happens every day in Florida summer. Oh my scissors, oh. 1,700 pairs of scissors. Ask me where they are. I don't know. Anyway, when the power went out for a brief moment in time, my only thought was, oh no, I won't be able to make dessert. <laughs> oh boy. The recipe calls for half a cup of vegetable oil. Oh no, when, when did I buy this? Yeah, it's still perfectly fine. Someone put their grabby paws in here. Anyway, the back of the box says, three eggs, I always add an egg. This is like my box cake mix hack. And instead of oil, I typically use butter. I don't feel like softening butter and like putting it on a plate to soften. So I'm just gonna use half a cup of yogurt instead. Let's see what that does. And then instead of water, I add milk, one cup. And I add an extra egg, four. I'm just gonna mix this all together. I mean, does dessert get any easier than this? I don't think so. I mean, it does if you pre-buy 
like pound cake or shortbread or something. I was going to make my own shortbread and then I thought, nah. All right, well, let's cross our fingers with this. Oh, just an easy summertime dessert. Sometimes you just need easy, right? I'm gonna pour this all into the pan and then this is the hardest part, waiting for it to cook. Hopefully it cooks with that yogurt. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Okay, 30 minutes can't come fast enough. Okay, it's done. <laughs> We are riding bikes outside. When I say we, I mean the kids and stuff. I'm out of breath for no good reason. I just had to run inside. I was like, I bet my timer's going off. Okay, now I'm going to cut up some strawberries and oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna tell the kids when this is done. <laughs> I just might eat all of it myself. You know what I mean? Well, this cake is cooled um, about 0%. Ask me if I care. Oh my gosh, Cool Whip. Man, I mean homemade whipped cream would have been the best choice, but you know, you work with what you have. Plop that crap right on top. Ooh, I think it's gonna melt a little bit. And then a few strawberries. And that is it. Oh, summertime, and the living is easy. Okay, here we go, dig in. Cheers. You know what else I feel like I could have done? Made waffles, that's good. Or pancakes, mm. Literally anything with strawberries and whipped cream, that's a winner in my eyes. Bon appetit. Cheers. The final reveal in the garage. Alex worked really hard putting the shelves together and it looks so great. Okay, that is it. Dessert is done. I'm gonna head outside, play with the kids until the sun goes down, which is basically midnight these days it feels like. But don't forget to check out Green Chef my link will be in the description box below, greenchef.com. And then my code is thewads135 to get $135 off across five boxes and free shipping for your first box. Thank you guys again for hanging out and watching. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.